for 2020. <laughs> Great to be here. The front bar is back and another footy is season it? is back. There it is. It is. More on that in a moment. What a massive show we got. The boys are back. They're both in fantastic. Luke Hodge, one of the masters of the modern game. We've been trying to get him on for a long time. We have. He's going to join us on the show and we're going to unveil our number one draft pick and it is a delight to have Andy yes. Lee joining us on the show. More on that in Side a moment. But can I just can I it's actually a little just start with, something with yeah. a, a, yep. a big welcome back and a Fire big hello away. to everyone's watching. Yep. And also, uh, look, if you are looking for sensitivity and <laughs> earnest discussion um, about that or the latest updates on the coronavirus, this show may not be for you. <laughs> I'm just letting it, putting it out there, Nicky. We understand it's what's point. going on, but it's, you know, it's crazy times, and the world has, is in a place it's never been before. Quite true. Things are unusual. Even here, you may have noticed uh, this show for the first time is yeah. going to air uh, without a full audience. The rules were, as we were told, we could only get people in tonight who were uh, allowed to be in the building, and uh, as such, the studio audience has been handpicked. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the cash cow. Uh, and we're doing it tough with, with the old coronavirus. I, I believe the cash cow has mad cow disease. So that's, <laughs> uh, that's a tough one too. And of course, feeling right at home is our solo GWS supporter. Really good he's used to sitting in big arenas on his own. Hey, it's going to be unusual for you two without the crowd because normally your work on this show is, is associated uh, and uh, by raucous laughter from the crowd. So you two will be OK. I want you to be able to push through. Yeah, well, it's, it's bit, it's laughter. It's business Rockers. as usual for you, isn't it? Well, yeah. I, 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 we anticipated this. Yeah. So to help us out, and I hope you don't mind, uh, we're bought in. Uh, this is a bazaar. And if we ever want at any time of night, we can activate this. What is it? Uh, well, it's canned laughter. Have a listen. <laughs> <laughs> if we some, need some help. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's the one they use at Carlton Games. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Can oh, I look at everyone. Leo Kasbold's kicking for goal. <laughs> How good is that? Uh, you want to have a go? All right, yeah, I'll, I'll go. give it a go. go. I think go. that this is the year that um, Mick Malloy enjoys a meaningful relationship with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. I wonder if one day... But I don't need this. I don't think the audience actually laughed at that. Sorry. Here's another one. I've got one more. If you are self-isolating and you're looking for something to do, don't worry. We have a lot of high-quality television shows right here on 7. Mate, it works. Can I have a go? Would you like to have a go? I'd love to have a go. Here we go. All right. Fire away. I was very happy a couple of years ago when we were talking about the Port Adelaide captain, Travis Boak. So I'll just go with it again. I think his name should be changed to Travis Boak Choi. That's cricket, Andy. You know, you know, Mick didn't even press the button. He didn't need to. Hey, he didn't at all. Before we get stuck into the rest of the show, uh, I'm sure most of you are aware it's been a huge day, huge couple of days in footy. There have been <laughs> a uh, of meetings days. that have been stretching on right throughout the day with the AFL Commission getting in touch with the AFL clubs late tonight. And there is going to be some football played to kick off the round. There's going to be alterations to the AFLW season. They're going to bring their finals forward. We'll find out more about that tomorrow. We know what the AFL season looks like. It will start tomorrow night at the MCG with the Tigers and the Blues. The AFL CEO, Gil McLaughlin, said this not that long ago. I said on Monday that we're moving to a 17-round season. I also said we had to be agile. Tonight, our 17-round season becomes a 153-game journey. We start tomorrow night with Richmond against Carlton at the MCG. The games will be shortened and quarters will now be 16 minutes plus time on. The NAB AFL women's will continue this weekend. However, we will forego the final two teams, two weeks of the home and away season and move straight to finals with the fixture to be announced tomorrow. We know at any time a player may test positive and halt our journey temporarily. What are the chances of the entire season being played behind closed doors given the government's announcement today? It depends how this plays out, but it feels that that's, um, that's a possibility, isn't it? A pretty strong one, I would have thought. You, you love your game, you love the footy. There's a bit like. to unpack there. Yep, yep. Um, we could go an entire season without supporters at the ground, which is disappointing for me because... Uh, it's harder to see Carlton fans leave the couch at three-quarter time. 
Sure. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, for, you know, for a second, a tough one. Sorry for the uh, for the briefest second, I thought he was being sincere. So, I, thought I, thought he was going, I thought you were going to. So, can I say this? The other one, 16 minute. Yeah, because it looked. What's that about Andy? What's that? No, well, they're, they're they're aware of the fact that at some stage this year they're likely to have no footy being played, and to get the 17 games in, they're going to have to condense the season. So games may be played a four and five day turnaround. So again, it lighten the load on the players. They're going to be this mini draft, so clubs will have access to extra players to cope with the demand. So that that's the reason. For draft. That. Sixteen minute quarters. I, I reckon I'm fit enough to play that game. <laughs> I'd, no, I'd, no, I'd, you're not. Might, might, not nominate, like, no. might nominate for the draft. Are, are you, should we? I mean, you too. Should we be? Are you comfortable with the decision to push on? Well, I mean, what, you... what if I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say no, you're not. I mean, are you comfortable? Should we? I am. I, I, I am because the play, the players have agreed to it. All the parties have agreed to it. The clubs have agreed to it. The AFL wants it. The ne everyone, everyone wants it. If you're sitting at home and you're watching telly yeah. and you've got... Put it on. Let's go. Right. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely looking forward to these games, especially, you know, this the tomorrow night and Friday night. There's a, the mild inconsistency that all sporting... Uh, well, leagues around the world seem to have stopped except well, us, but that's fine. That's okay, we'll move on. What hey, um, well, there's a. <laughs> we, uh, because we're little troopers. Uh, that's what we are. There's something, there's something going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going what? on under. You've got the. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just keep forgetting I've got it on. Right. Um, uh, well, hold on. Does it have anything to do. Yeah. What? Yeah, Does yeah, it go, any... go, go. It is. Is it? I think it is. Oh, there, well, just. Yeah, let's play this. I want to see. Yeah. If we make the grand final, what about that? So the grand Lock it in. If so we, if we the win final. the preliminary final, you'll do the child for that yeah, grand so final show. I will. So, so you'll get the child. You didn't get it I for... I said that yeah. I'd just get it for the grand final and I didn't. No. And then I made the same claim for the, the grand, grand final. That so if I, they won... I would do it. And I didn't. Uh, subsequently, I've been uh, trolled fairly heavily <laughs> <laughs> on social media who have pretty much insisted that uh, they will come and find me if yeah. I don't do... The child. So, uh, uh, it, uh, great embarrassment to myself. Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> That's real, people. I hope you're happy, you bastards. That, <laughs> that is it. It's, that oh, is. It's kind of worse. Oh, I you, think it does. It looks pretty good. I think you pull it off. Kind of works. I think it does. <laughs> it I think it does. Can you turn around? Can right. you show it the back? Right around, show it? the back. Can you show the back or not? Yep. Can you, you turn understand? around? Yep. And yeah, that's a tough. There it is. Have a look at that. Yeah. I like it. I reckon it looks all right. Um, and the barber was pretty good too. I have to say, of the day, he was. Uh, he did a good <laughs> job there. It is your day. Good on him. There hey, well, he done is. well done to you. Uh, I'm done. Hey. Leave me alone. It's real. If you see, I'm going to wait till it grows out. So, uh, and I'll tell you what. Uh, if we win the grand final this year, <laughs> next year I'll go the Bartlett. <laughs> I will shave off and I will comb over. Hey, lock it in. Good on you for doing the child, but you're lucky to be here. We saw on the news the other night yeah. when the curfew was uh, invoked at midnight. Um, oh. There was a news story I down... just made it home. There, I just I made it home by two well, hours. There was a news story down at the airport. Keep your eye, not on the reporter, but keep your eye on the person ducking through the back of the shot. More now on the strict new border measures which come into force at midnight. After that, any person entering Australia will have to go into self-isolation for 14 days. We'll go live to Nine News reporter Maggie Rayworth at Melbourne Airport this evening. Maggie, a little over two hours to go. What are you seeing there tonight? Uh, there you are. Uh, there you <laughs> have a look at you. So you just made it back in, Mickey. Can I just say, it, it was great to be back on the Nine Network. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that, that clip lasted longer than a lot of the shows I predicted. <laughs> so uh, that, that was so a meaningful you, so, moment. So straight. You, that you, was me coming through. The, I've just cleared customs. Oh, I've oh. just come through. It's it's two hours to midnight, and I would have made it. I don't want to. I don't want to say that border security were asleep at the wheel. <laughs> how are you getting back in? I'm glad to have you. It's well, that's, that's the you. first time I've actually. Uh, come out of customs without a jumper on my head. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. How's your summer? You look like you're in pretty you? good form. You I had a great, great summer. I, uh, I went to a little a little town called Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got to be honest, accommodation, very easy to get. I thought it was, uh, 
I thought it'd be tougher. All if right, you do okay. get there, try the bat soup. It is <laughs> unbelievable. All right, we'll, we'll write that down. Oh, so. Jesus. No, I had a good start. Yeah, no, what, what about you? Yeah, I was going to say. No, no, pretty quiet. What, really, pretty quiet. Yeah, right, no, That's busy. interesting you say that, considering yeah. that the one of the bigger, uh, astonishingly, one of the bigger <laughs> footy stories this summer was you doing your calf as the runner for the AFL, uh, Carlton's AFLW team. Have a look at these. They're just sad scenes, Mick. Look at that. You haven't actually done your calf yet, by the way. It's just, <laughs> okay, it's just... okay. I'm just going to... Is that arthritis or have you just... No, I prost... was... No, no. <laughs> have you just had your prostate checked? No, I, I, just... Just, I just need to know. No, I was just saying, we, we were beating Richmond in the opening round just before three-quarter time. The calf went and, uh, yeah, I, I missed a couple of weeks. Pretty... Did, you, did you consider ridiculous. delivering messages on a motorised scooter? <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous, really. But we're back now, and that's OK. And uh, we've made the finals. We've had this abbreviated season now, so... I, I, can, can I just say, I'm so glad the season's going ahead because the Tigers are cherry ripe and ready for action. I watched. I went down to training the other night and watched them train. If you tell me these guys aren't already flag favourites. All right. <laughs> All right, hit yeah, the showers. No, hit the showers. That's... You're done. I mean, that's as... Hard as it gets. We've come a long way from the Wolsey 100 hundreds. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Oh, that's pretty scary. Yeah. That is pretty the scary. other the other news of the uh, of the summer was that obviously there's going to be no game in China, uh, which if you listen to uh, Jaron Geary here uh, speak about it, that's that's very sad news because uh, yeah. if you listen to him, it was a very very positive positive experience for <laughs> everyone at St Kilda. <laughs> That was a good experience last year, apart from the result for us, and obviously a few guys getting getting ill. So um, yeah, and obviously uh, me breaking my leg. But um, apart from that, it was actually quite a good experience. <laughs> oh, of course, it was a great experience. Other than that, it was all fine. Yeah, hey, uh, there's been a bit going on. There's been a bit going, going on. Before we, before we go to a break, yep. can I do it? I know it's early in the season. What are you doing? It's just starting. It just feels like it's time for under the pub already. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, oh, the cash cow loves this segment. <laughs> by the way, Mickey, the cash cow, has, uh, has his um, hoofs been sanitised, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he looks bad. Um, he, he does look bad. OK, so I just, I just thought we'd get stuff. Well, the world's under the no, pump. that's true. It's yeah, gone crazy, on. so we'll get the ball rolling, and I'd like to start, uh, as we traditionally do, Carlton! <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why, it just feels right. It just, <laughs> it just feels right somehow. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, yeah. I'll just go with this one here. Huh? Toilet paper. Toilet, no. <laughs> toilet paper. Well, I'll pump. go with bat soup. Right, that's under <laughs> like bat, yeah, bat it'll soup. be hard to find. Oh, um, in the current climate, you know, for those if you are self-isolating, twister's not the game for you, <laughs> by the way. The or, the or for the more adventurous, orgies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's one. Here's one that's going to affect you. Dry humping. And just go completely out. Uh, Bikram yoga, don't go near don't it. Go near it no. Tom Petrovsky, you're working very hard these days, my friend. <laughs> He's up the top. The I don't know. All right. Holden? <laughs> <laughs> you're under the pump. Let's go to a break. Uh, there's a lot of stuff under the pump. Yeah. Well, we no, 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 no. We, I just want an update. I know because you hooked in and uh, down at Richmond and there was the big story after the grand final about Dustin Martin's car. Uh, that he left it at the MC. How excited was I when I heard about this? Yes, I mean, yes. So you all know the story. So uh, Dusty, straight after the granny has gone OS, yep. left his car in the car park unattended. At the MC. Uh, and it was left there for months. And it was an opportunity too good to pass up. We, we had to swing by. <laughs> it definitely is. That's Check out it. number plate. Has, has to be his car. Come on. Come on. Check out. Check out. What do you got? Come on. Come on, Come hurry on. up. Yeah, right there you go. Come, got it. That was the best, best I could do. Come on. Where is yes, it? what I... Jesus. Oh, the smell of dusty. No, 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 it's just his air freshener. <laughs> sandalwood. Oh, it's Jasmine. He's a sandalwood man. I'm telling you, that's Jasmine. Did you travel in the glove box? Oh, yeah, God knows what's in there. A little peek into the mind of Dusty. Come on, open it up. What? Two tickets to Mary Poppins. Gee, I wouldn't have picked that. Uh, good seats, though. Mm. He's an A-lister. No doubt. Should we check out what he's listening to on the yeah, radio? Let's do that. And... Oh, dear. Smooth FM. This never leaves this car. Deal. <laughs> hey, can you hear something in the boot? Can you? It's like some banging. Come on. Noise! KB, what are you doing here? Mick? Been here since grand final day. Didn't want to pay for parking. OK. Anything right. been happening? Yeah, nothing much. In fact, you should probably stay there, yeah? Oh, Good yeah. self-isolating. <laughs> Good luck, Ted. Yeah. Don't move.
he's still available on pick five, we've got to take him. I'm not sure he's worth a pick five. Oh, he's definitely worth pick five, Sam. I don't see it. Where are we up to? Pick two, I'm a celebrity's got it. With pick two, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, have selected Rhonda Birchmore. <laughs> Bang, we are still in it. Okay, Dancing with the Stars has got the next pick. I can't see him going there. Yeah, Survivor might take him. When are they up? Yeah. No, they got pick four. Would we try a swap with them? We also need a bit of salary cap space next year if we're going to go after Dr Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah true. This mm. show already has some eye candy. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Angie. Yeah. Pick three just went Dancing with the Stars has taken Angie okay. Kent. Damn it, she would have been great for us. Yep. Who's Angie Kent? Bachelorette, season three. Oh, My favourite season. A little sweetie. You know, I love that show. She and Carla were just perfect. Perfect. Very Absolutely. good on Goggle Box. <laughs> Very good on Goggle Box. <laughs> Australian Survivor have selected Lydia. Yes. We are on here. Let's do it. Put the call through. Are you sure we don't want to try for Carl Sevenovic? Positive. One Peter? <laughs> it's done. We've got him. We've got him. With pick five, Channel 7's The Front Bar have selected... Andy Lee. Congratulations. Well done, boss. Well done, boss. Oh, all that driving oh, me to the pub has really paid off. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Give it to us, Sammy. Hey. Great day. I don't see the big deal. Welcome back. I don't care what you say. I can't believe he slipped to number five. Uh, he is our win. It's, it's exciting time. Joy to have him with us on the show right throughout the year. Please make him welcome. Yes. Cheers. Good to Andy Lee, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Mate. Mate, it's, it's going to be that was great. actually the last hug I've done with Mum and Dad. They're <laughs> over 70 there in isolation. <laughs> Good for you, and thank you for coming out. And what a, what a weird one for your first show. <laughs> it's, it's not how we usually roll. We do have yeah. people here. I had but in my notes here, uh, pause for two minutes for standing ovation. But, uh, <laughs> and there's no one here, we'll move on. But I do have a bit of information on the uh, coronavirus for those at home. OK, This is actually right. bona fide. There's uh, a self-test you can do, yep. right? And this is a doctor's recommending this. They say you can take a deep breath, hold on to that breath for more than 10 seconds. If you can do this successfully without coughing or without difficulty, you probably don't have it. Okay. The other one, they say, uh, in trying to prevent uh, COVID-19, is everyone should make sure their mouth and throat is always moist. Okay. Drink something every 15 minutes. Is that right? Well, I... <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> you can't be too careful. <laughs> what I say. Mm. <laughs> I'm officially the healthiest man in Australia. <laughs> uh, great to have you here, Andy. It's a joy to have you on the show. Have yep. you, do you know much about the show? Have you seen... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to add something to Under the Pump, Mick. So I came to, oh, you do, what? Yes. If that's OK. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put myself on Under the Pump. Right, um, OK, here we I'm go. I'm not sure if you heard the news today, but KFC have closed down in-store dining because oh. of coronavirus. They've so gone I've too got, far, this coronavirus. Know, I've got nowhere to take uh, my girlfriend for our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, sure, you can, go through, you can go through drive through and park. <laughs> it's not the same, is it? It's not the same. It's, it's, it's not, not the same. same. Hey, hashtag, thank thank you for swinging by. I just want to outline your role. You will be sitting on the desk with us from time to time yep. as we as we rotate through the mm. channels. As you've got overseas trips and Oscars and all that stuff <laughs> uh, coming up. Uh, but tonight, mm. we thought if you would uh, just wanted to watch from the bar. Yep. And take notes. Uh, have a look at the do's, have a look at the don'ts, okay. maybe write some notes down yep, and we can, I can, do that. We can take it from there. Before well, we begin... Yeah. We, we need to check Andy's bona fides, don't we? We'd like to introduce yourself and your football background. I knew this was coming. We, we yep. know, I know. Um, yep. You know that I've loved Carlton for a long time. Yep. My dad's cousin, Kevin Hall, played for Carlton. That's okay. how the Carlton thing okay. started. He's won a premiership for them. But to, uh, to show how deep... Today, I reckon. <laughs> 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 show how deep it goes, though, Mick. Yeah. This is me at 11 years old. I used to go and cut out this every is real. single clipping <laughs> that the, for the Blues yeah. every round. I actually only included the, uh, the times they won, yeah. uh, which, is a little <laughs> bit, which is a little bit one-eyed. Well, um, they won a bit back in those yeah. days. Yeah. 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 You didn't have a lot of friends at school, did you, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? You, only, you had a very neat, out, a, very a, neat. A, a very neat. You kept a scrapbook of uh, the Carlton wins. Just the wins. Well, you're lucky. It's like no, because I kept a scrapbook of the Carlton losses. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I... Whenever I'm down, I just I just pick this up oh, and yeah. it just yeah, yeah, so right. many joys. Yeah, can, right. can I take you through just some of my favourite pages? Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, oh, this is good. All the, all the scandals, all the scandals. Have a look at that. That's a great page. Uh, have a look at this one here. That's really good. The sackings. Oh, 
Oh, you can spend hours on that. Uh, this is it, the disasters. We all we remember where we were when Captain Carlton crashed the hovercraft <laughs> into the air. A good time, and I'll leave it in the green room. Well, and you, you can... I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> I uh, have contacted your family and got your scrapbook from 30 years oh, ago. That's oh, that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I used to cut the edge out of the yes. scrap. Oh, out of one note. That's very good. <laughs> no, uh, I like it. Yeah. yeah it's just oh, hang on. Something, <laughs> something what fell was, out. What was that? Uh, Bras and Things catalogue. <laughs> not sure, <laughs> not sure uh, what the was doing in there. Yeah, give, give that <laughs> no, to me. No, that's very good. Give, give that to me. I didn't leave safe. you out though, Mari. Uh, well, you're not Fanny, come on, let's have a scrapbook. We'll yeah. be honest. Yeah. And I've got uh, Mari's scrapbook from when oh, he was 13 uh, years old. Okay. Oh, that right, have you? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Yes! Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Looks like he's done it with a quill here. Yes. Uh, hey! Congratulations. Yeah. Your, your first ever, first ever Andy Mar old joke. Oh, thank you. It's a big moment. <laughs> Give him a round. Thank you. Yeah. Feel good about it. Has cows on his feet. <laughs> you a bit of there. Yeah. Have, you, have you got something from the book? It says round 16 here. With the war going on in Germany, I'm not sure if we'll play this week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like it. I Bring it on. Better than that. But guys, ahead of the ahead of the game, you know, I was pumped to be a part <laughs> yes, of the show. You and were. So I went to uh, the wardrobe, <laughs> and I picked out a bunch of my uh, tops. I got plenty this of is, them. This right. is. I love this. You showed me these today. Yeah. And I'm so, this so is, impressed you kept these. This is my genuine 1997 oh, yeah. M&M's jumper. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure if you uh, remember. I still rate it the worst jumper. Ever yep. in AFL history? No, so, no. The Hawthorne Harlequin jumper. Do you, hey, do you know if this is true or not? That that jumper. The, it was only one game, wasn't it? Andy? One game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that Mick McGowan, remember oh, yeah, yeah, Collingwood yeah. legend. Yeah. He came to Carlton and he played three games for <laughs> Carlton, and I reckon one of them. Was <laughs> <in there. laughs> I'm, I think you're right. I think it's right. I think you're right. This so, one. So that's yeah, meaningful. You got it. That, that's me. This is actually some, a playing jumper. It was Aaron Hamels. 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 And obviously they didn't think much of him when he went to St Kilda and just threw it, threw it out to me. <laughs> um, this one I like. Uh, this is my <laughs> Brendan Bolton sign jumper. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to go up in value, but uh, I like it. Maybe not. But this is uh, this is the jumper I used to wear for well ten years, pretty much eight really? years, perhaps. And my favourite players' numbers on the back. Okay. Can you have a guess? Uh, I, I... Uh, I'll go with Sticks, Steve Kerr. Sticks. No, I'll go Brattles. Brattles. Little, little Brattle. Brattle on. Yeah, Juddy. Later. Juddy. Right. Greg Williams. Close. Chief Wiggins. Simon, Simon Wiggins. Wiggins. That's my... Simon <laughs> Wiggins. He's unbelievable. Yeah, there's one, there's one Ron Delulio fan going, I thought you were going to do it. I thought it was him. Yeah, I was a huge fan of the centre-half forward Simon Wiggins, right? And look, he was a two-time Premiership player for no, Carlton. Well, what? Night Premiership. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, but here he is in action. He played 100 games, I think he only won 25 of them. But the, uh, uh, this is his 100th game. He kicked four against the Doggies and was unstoppable. And, yeah. uh, and he was always a reliable. Why hard... did you pick him, mate? We had actually, we did have better players. Yeah, what than was, him. Yeah, what was no, but just reliable, hard, honest, hard player. Yeah. And at the end of the games, if you go down to the boundary, you didn't have to line up to get a. <laughs> 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 that's that's All right. a good result. Now it's making sense. And by he's the actually, way, he's actually that... a train driver now. Is that you right? Know, he actually drives a train, and all those years of me going, get on the Wiggins train, um, <laughs> makes sense all of a sudden. By the way, if you have just tuned in, that is, that is dust. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not, it's not like Andy's lost his mind and we're just uh, covering it. Great to have you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome it's, aboard, mate. Thank you, mate. I've got this for notes. Right. Yeah, 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 make problems. notes, watch, look and learn, and uh, you'll be away. Cheers. Well, it's great to learn. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. It's great to have you uh, as part of our family here. We, are, we like to think we are a family here at the front bar. Sure. Uh, and to kick off our season, we would have loved to have had... Uh, Fitzy, Ryan Fitzgerald, part of the show, but yeah. uh, he's he's taken this is, it. This is true. No, he has. He, he's come in contact with people who yes. have tested positive to COVID nineteen, so he's self isolating at the moment. But it wouldn't be the opening show of the season without a little yeah. cheerio from Fitzy. Hey guys, Fitzy here. I know there's a few of you that are concerned about me. I'm all right. I've been tested. Um, it looks like I may have caught the virus off Richard Wilkins. Probably the least dangerous disease anyone's caught off, Richard, but um, I just want to give you some tips. If you're bored in isolation, um, there's a great video you can watch from 20 years ago to this day, Colonial Stadium, year 2000, Sydney versus St Kilda, and uh, a young... God, that kid's going to be a superstar. What's he going to do next? Oh, take it out of the ruck, back it up, left foot. <laughs> Dribble that one through. Can't get to that one, can you, Aussie Jones? <laughs> Guys, you can watch this over and over again, and... 
plenty of entertainment. <laughs> uh, he, that's he, he, he's got coronavirus. No, that no, is, no, that we, is madness. He, he was self-isolating, but the, the word has come through today that fits is all clear. So uh, that is that is terrific news. F fantastic. Hey, uh, before we go to the break, I, I need to, and I know this is important to you. Yeah, it is. Yep. yep. Uh, the a AFLW. Well, can, you, can you bring us up to speed? Well, they've, so they've circumvented the rest of the home and away season. We don't know what the, the, it looks like. They're going to go straight to prelims. We find out what the schedule looks like tomorrow. But the four teams left now. Terrible news for Melbourne supporters in particular, but Fremantle, North Melbourne, Carlton and GWS are the four teams left. So tomorrow, at some stage, we're going to find out what the two prelims look like. So uh, that will be interesting. And uh, it's been a fantastic season, so we'll wait and see who's playing who in the prelims. Um, as part of this show, I know you're our man who keeps his eye on the commentary throughout the season. Uh, have you got something that... You've noticed throughout the... Absolutely. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm glad because sorry, you're terrible had you not. You're, I'm, you're moving me on tonight. It's like you've got to be up early for sh to get those shopping centres in the morning. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> the, the, the Channel 7... Um, <laughs> The Channel, laugh the Channel 7 commentary, commentary team is all about chemistry and supporting your co-commentator, you know, <laughs> oh, like I do yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, and just, uh, I enjoyed this um, over the summer. Sam Lane, uh, intrepid as always, uh, threw up uh, a, a curly one to Beck Goddard and I enjoyed Beck Goddard supporting Sam to the uh, most, or hilt, <laughs> or something like that. Right, let's head down to Sam Lane. I was lingering at a healthy distance in the GWS huddle. I heard a player say, we've got one more gear here. Alan McConnell had three words, the senior coach, and Bet Goddard might help us unpack them. They were concentration, compete, communication. The three Cs. Free kick going away. <laughs> <laughs> Hands over now. Asked and answered. That's right, a, that cleared that right up for me. Yeah, right, By yeah. the way, at least Beck was trying to uh, was uh, actually was trying to help, as opposed to uh, back in 1983 when Bob Skilton was talking about grand finals and what it was like to play in grand yeah. finals. Yeah. And uh, have a listen to Peter Landy at his helpful best. I think it's like the Olympics. You can have uh, all the uh, events through the year, anything you like. Uh, but there's nothing like the grand final. Bob, you never played in a grand final. <laughs> 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 Chemistry support. Oh, that well, is terrible. well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, from a very vested interest here, but hopefully, Taylor Harris is going to be playing a grand final in a couple of weeks. I'm glad you brought her up. Can you explain to me what she is referencing in this post-match interview? At three quarter time, your coach Daniel Harford said, "If we continue to go wide, we should walk away with the four points." What was that message at half time? Because he came out firing. Uh, Andy Ma was making some pretty mean comments about my dog. Yeah, pretty typical. Oh, well, <laughs> the way, uh, what, oh, it's a, it's a, can I ask you, and uh, we'd all like to hear, obviously, yeah, what was the mean story? You, you really want to hear? You, know, you know what you I do. No, no. But please, well, put us out of our mystery. Well, it's not a great story, but I mean, uh, but now that you've asked... I'm I've asked. So, Tell so, it. So Taylor's got a dog called Beans. The Beans is a dog. You're not oh. after a flyer, are you? Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're pretty proud of it. Beans, she yep. loves her dog, Beans, and Beans. she thinks Beans is a beautiful dog, and she's a lot of photos of Beans on Instagram. And one day, so it was after the Collingwood game when she'd got sort of beaten and, you know, this she's useless on the ground, said the Collingwood opponent, she's a bit distracted. And I'd noticed that Katie Harrison, one of the other girls at Carlton, had posted some photos of her dog on Instagram that day. Beautiful new dog, lovely dog, very cute dog. OK. So it was a great-looking dog. And Kez Harrington, one of our co-captains, also puts a lot of photos on Instagram of her dog. So I just said to Taylor, Taylor, to hopefully distract her a little bit, Taylor, you asked for the story. Hold on. Yeah, just Taylor. Hold on, let me get a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, I know you're proud of your dog, Beans, but I don't think it's the best-looking dog at the football club anymore. I think, In fact, I think it's ranked number three amongst the girls at the club. And, and she got pretty angry about that. And I said, well, I'll retract that if, if you play a learning role in the grand final and we win it. So there's the story. You, you asked for it and, and that was the yarn. Andy, there you go. Mm -hmm. never do that. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Never write that down. No, it's a good story. boring as hell. Ooh. Dog stories. <laughs> sure. I might self isolate after. <laughs> You're on national television. Yeah. <laughs> beans, you say? Yeah, beans. Lovely dog. All right. Keep going, Tay Tay. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to get to the break. One of the modern greats to join us here. I wonder if he's got a dog. He can tell us the story next. Luke Hodge to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 
show. Great to be here. Thanks. Cash cow's <laughs> gone berserk. Yeah, no, I don't know if anyone's concerned. That cash cow has hands. <laughs> <laughs> Great Just to be here. Yeah. Thanks to the Well, he'll need some moisturiser <laughs> then <laughs> oh, and think, sanitizer. I don't think we were kidding anyone. I don't think people think it's a real cow. So oh, we'll thanks for clearing that up, mate. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> really, hey, hey, stop hey, supporting hey, me. Hey, Andy, hey, tell the beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ask. Uh, we're here for the Brewery Fresh Carlton Draft. This bloke, you know, one of the all-time greats. 346 games, 194 goals, four flags, three times premiership captain, two Norm Smith. Please make him welcome. Luke Hodge, everybody. <laughs> Normally, normally wave to the crowd, but oh, no. <laughs> you've, yeah, you've come on a good night. Take you back to your Brisbane days. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great to have a former Brisbane champion in the <laughs> studio. It's, uh, it's just fantastic. Thank you for coming. You've got a big night we'll get to. Your first night with the Seven Network. Yep, uh, welcome night, aboard. Yeah. Tomorrow night you'll be uh, doing the game. Uh, say hi to Andy Lee over there, who's also Andy, doing a, you, a you first doing crowd colour pieces for the broadcast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there's supposed to be ninety thousand. Instead, there's going to be about nine. So, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, how about Marlin Pickett? He plays his first game in front of ninety-five thousand. His second, none. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> Don't take it personally. It's Let, not you. Let's what? have a look, go on, let's have a look at some of those. I mean, people. Let's get into it. Come Brisbane, on. Forty-one games he ended up playing for Brisbane, which was absolutely remarkable. This game number one. You started playing. You made an impact right from the word go. You're, you're part of some great teams and emerging one of Brisbane. Can I ask you, all those Hawthorne teams that we're going to see you part of here, was there one player you played with, Hodgie, that, that didn't get the credit you reckon that he deserved for the success that that team had? Um, probably, probably Brad Sewell was one who was week in, week out, would go and, go and just do his role, no fuss. Um, ben Stratton, uh, yeah. who's the captain now, who was someone who... Uh, Clark, I know, used to always say that he was picked first, even when he was 21, 22, with, with the, the calibre of guys in that side. Um, Strato was always the first one on the board. So there was a lot of guys that didn't probably get the recognition because we had Franklin, exactly. Rioli, Mitchell, exactly. all those kind of guys. Yeah. Did yeah. you, uh, were you, uh, did you... Did you mean this? Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Well, this, like, oh, this is just too good. Now that I've retired, yes, I did. <laughs> 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 Meant every, every part of it. Forgive yeah. me, I don't know, you know, I don't, don't know the early days, but were you in and out of the twos, mate, or once you were in, you, you stayed? Uh, I stayed in. I just couldn't get a kick. So it was... Uh, well, well, kept playing, you well, know? Let's, let's <laughs> got dropped a few times. OK. Let, let's start there, because you... Sorry, like... Nick, one second. That's 15 minutes, boys. I've got... Thank you. Cheers. Good call, Andy. Yeah, thank, thank you. Good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, safety officer. Safety from, 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 from the bar. You came into what's considered to be the greatest draft of all it time was, in 2001, was. and you went number one, which you would think would be the happiest time in anyone's <laughs> life. But it wasn't the warmest of welcomes for you at Hawthorne when you got there. Why? Uh, they traded off Trent Crow. Yep. And um, they didn't want it. They had a big protest with all the supporters, so I felt like <laughs> I, um, I come in with open arms yeah. from, from no one. <laughs> um, but then uh, from that, it sort of got into football and things turned pear-shaped because Carlton, or West Coast at the time, picked up Juddy and for the first three years of my career, it was all about Juddy. Uh, well, he was taking three. He was taking three, Bawley two. Have we, got some, have we got some footage of the draft? After an angry reception at Glen Ferry over the club's move to trade Trent Crowe for the number one pick, Hodge is going to be under intense scrutiny. Player number five, eight, two, zero, Luke Hodge, Geelong Falcons. Did even, anyone ever apologise for giving you a hard time uh, after this? Because you, you've gone on to one of the most decorated careers of all time and everyone's first pick is the captain of the modern era. How not, long did not, it take? Hold on, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yours? Lance, Lance, Lance Whitnock. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long did it take to, tu to turn that around and win over the trust of the Hawthorne faithful? Uh, about seven years. Is <laughs> that all? Well, it's my, incredible. My, my first three years... Um, Judd, he'd won a Brownlow, won a Premiership, <laughs> won a BNF. Wow. I had a coach get sacked. The recruiter that picked me got sacked. <laughs> um, so I was a pretty rocky start. But if you run, whenever you run into uh, Juddy now, you just run your hands through your hair and go, everything's all right, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I used to. It's starting to go back. <laughs> yeah, but not as far back as his. Um, you, you, Murray mentioned uh, four Premierships, mm. three as captain. Uh, being presented with the Premiership medallion um, and, uh, and, of course, having it presented by... Uh, a kid you've never met is obviously a special type. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at three of yours. You're very popular with the kids. Yeah, you are. Congratulations on the three P. Thanks, buddy. Good work. You're a champion. Thank you. There you go. You're my hero. Ah, uh, that's my initial. Thank you. Yeah. 
Mate, what do you think of when you see those yeah. mates? Uh, I guess I've got four four young boys now. So four young uh, boys. A, lot of, a lot of stuff you do with football is, is to, for the supporters and a lot of the kids. Four young boys, that's good news for the Brisbane Academy. <laughs> <laughs> hey? They'll hoover up those kids. Those three uh, kids. Comes. Those three kids there on, on that very special day were um, uh, obviously beautiful in their sentiments. With, by the way, not all kids like Joe Hodge, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope that wasn't one of your own kids. <laughs> Tell me that. Hey, the way you played your footy uh, was, I think we all admired it. This, right was, this was part of the package, first, and this is why people admired you as first a First game, Mickey, took on Brad Hodge, uh, uh, Brad Ottens. Hodge, 186-92, Ottens, 202 106. When we look at these things here, Hodgie, now that's perfectly fine and exists, but are you disappointed that a lot of this stuff that was part of your game would no longer be tolerated in the modern day? <laughs> Uh, well, I guess the, the game's changed. I think the game's changed for, for the better. Uh, you've got to protect the players these days. I guess when I was... Yeah. It was exactly like that. Um, oh, that that's... Yeah, that was, no, no. that was an accident. Right. So I said, <laughs> what did you say um, to there after the game? I said, are you OK? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. couldn't remember it. Um, no, I think the game's changed. Um, growing up in the country, when you're a kid, you're playing against senior blokes and that's normally what you copped. So, um, yeah, there's no way you'd be able to do most of that now. Is yeah. it a coincidence that... Wingard waited for you to leave the club before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's talk about you leaving the club and the timing of that. Um, you played under Clarko for pretty much all your career. Did you have Schwab? For uh, Schwab for three, three. and then Clarko for the last... Uh, what do I have my play there? Two. 13 there. <laughs> and and, and you, safe to say, you as captain, him as coach, it's one of the greatest leadership combinations no of all doubt. time. Can, no you, can you talk briefly to your relationship with Clarko? Uh, we had a really good, honest relationship. Um, he, <laughs> we, we had a really good group, so he gave us a lot of responsibility. Yeah, um, yeah so it was pretty good. Well, how was it? Was he good at taking feedback? <laughs> Most of the time. Um, <laughs> oh, he, he was someone who would take it on board about a week later. Right. So, uh, <laughs> a week later. A week later. Yeah. Did you or the leadership group ever ever challenge him, or did, did, was, was there ever any? How did you just give us an insight yeah, as to how the system was? Um, there, there was one main one. Um, well, I think it was after we lost the 2011 prelim to, to Collingwood. It won't go as long as your story. We we called him in and we sort of said we want a meeting with him. Uh, it wasn't planned, so he's come in. He sat down. He goes, "This better be bloody good." in his angry tone. Um, we were ready, but I sort of said, Clarko, can you just give us five? We're not quite ready for you uh, at that stage. He told me later on that he wanted to punch me in the face. <laughs> um, um, luckily, he, uh, as I said, he'd go away, he'd cool down and then come back. He'd come but, back. Uh, he, he finally listened after a while. Uh, well, and, did, and didn't punch me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a man of many moods, and uh, when, he's, when he's not punchy, uh, he likes to get on the guitar. Now, your timing's impeccable because you left the club, I think, four weeks before this occurred. Uh, let's have a look at Clarko. <laughs> Going about the business. This is yeah. for Sean Burgoyne, obviously. It's for Sean Burgoyne. Yeah. Did you did you at least think, oh look at the new coach of Hawthorne, it's Ed Sheehan. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Who's Ed Sheehan? Who's Ed Sheehan? <laughs> Ed Sheehan? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Sorry, I don't listen to Nova. <laughs> Who's <laughs> oh, Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran is, um, well, uh, unlike Triple M, he's a living artist. Hodgie, did you see that? Did you see that and go, that's it, I'm leaving, I'm going to Brisbane? Is, was that the thing that, uh, was that the, the he, he actually started doing that after he got the Gillian Bahrain disease. So the doctor said you've got to keep learning. So he started playing the guitar. Yeah, but singing songs to teammates. And, yeah, he did that, he did it for my 300th. I can't remember what song it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Oh, I mean, uh, it's a moving occasion then. He, he started doing it, and the first <laughs> three or four times he did it, it was terrible. Um, it didn't improve much, but he, uh, at least he had the You can't, you can't remember the song? You got, was it, could it possibly have been something from Ed Sheehan? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it was actually... <laughs> That's not going to go away any time soon. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice touch. Hey, I like it. Hey, Luke, we, uh, we have a segment on the show that we really like. It's called Fresh from the Archives. <laughs> <laughs> To the two, we need to go back to the... You, can you be honest with us? I know you, you, you're a modest man. You're a modest champion. You don't like talking yourself up. But let's go back to the 2008 prelim. And there's a story we want to have confirmed here. That was the incident with Cozzy. Your ribs are exposed. You're in massive trouble. You're spitting up blood. 
You're in real trouble when you get back to the huddle. How bad... You, next week, you're playing a grand final win in Ormsby. How bad were you injured in that prelim? Um, or was it knocking the ribs? No, 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 no. no. I'm going to put this to Come you. On. True or false, your rib, you broke your ribs. I don't know. I don't think oh, so. No, no, no. You said... Did you say, I don't want him to scan because if they get scanned and they're broken, I won't be allowed to play? Uh, no, we, there was, I think, Andrew Russell, a couple of docs, and they sort of said, well, if we go and have it scanned, what's the outcome? What are we going to do? And we're going to play anyway. So we said, we'll put... The, the doc actually said, we'll put a guard on it. He said, you've got enough fat around the midriff to protect it anyway. <laughs> and he said, um, he goes, we'll just go and play. And it got you. You know what? Uh, Look. I, I did something similar. During our grand final show, I, uh, I did the whole thing with a severe case of gout. <laughs> <laughs> but like you, sometimes you just got to play through it. Hundred no, percent. You, know, you just got to get to the to, to the other side. On there the, it is. Uh, does courage run in the family? Are your kids? Um, yeah, I think they're they're pretty resilient. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I agree boys, with you, mate. Because I've got some evidence of it. Have a watch of this. National Tree Day is a chance to give something back to our community and our environment. Big. 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 <laughs> Put it in there. <laughs> Put a bit more in. Oh. <laughs> Will we cut that? <laughs> no. Is he now traumatised when you guys go to Bunnings? Or... <laughs> no, he won't do the garden. Garden <laughs> cried, didn't know that much. <laughs> Concrete backyard for yours. Yeah, <laughs> didn't know that much. Hey, can you stick around? We've got a bit more to talk to. Luke Hodge oh, when he comes back. Oh, on the other side of this, on the front. Boy, he's seeing. To the front. <laughs> <laughs> Pub. That's the All Nations. Oh. That's where we filmed our first episode and the pilot. Uh, had it, had it got I, past it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't even supposed to be in the show. I was just there when the cameras turned up. <laughs> so, he thought it was a documentary. Hey, uh, are you surprised? Are you, the, 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 the decisions come out that we're going to play round one. Are, are you surprised? Um, oh, you hear so many rumours. I think if you look at Twitter, there's so many different people saying, cut it off, keep them playing. Um, mm. I'm happy for the players. Like they watching the Lions boys this week, they just wanted to play football. Yeah, right. um, As a player, would you have, given all these circumstances, would have played for sure. you would have put yeah, your hand up, to hand and, up to play? I think watching the guys, they are so like how much they wash their hands around training. They've yeah. got their own drink bottles. They don't touch each other. Um, you, they're doing everything right, and then you go down the street and you see by people going to the shopping centres, holding different stuff. So yeah. well, I think they've done everything they possibly could. Uh, they've just got to wait. If uh, someone does get tested... And as, as, as someone who loves the game, I'm per personally glad that it, that we'll get we're to, get we're to, gonna get to yeah, see footy. Sure. I'll send you sure. photos from the ground tomorrow night. Be nice. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to dig a tunnel, I will be there. Luke, 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 take it from me, Luke. Don't give him your mobile phone number. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, not you. You're fine. <laughs> Check his temperature with. Uh, um, Luke, can I ask you about about oh, yeah. going to going going to Don't Brisbane? Laugh, going it to just Brisbane. Encourages you. You're a, a Hawthorne Hall of Famer and, and probably Team of the Century, whatever it is. You, you, to go to Brisbane, I've, so obviously a big. But how big a move? And was was Clarko that happy that you were, that you ended up playing for another team? Uh, initially, no. But then uh, spoke to him about it, and he was a part of the decision to to take the family up there. He went to Adelaide with a young family, and um, and he said it was the best thing for his family. So, and you love it too, and you family. It. I've spoken have spoke with you recently about this, but you're you're camped up there now. You love it. Your family's yep. just taken to it. Yeah, uh, kids are uh, loving the weather up there. Um, wife absolutely loves it. So, did it take long course. to adjust? No, nah, we were there for about three months. I was, mind you, the summers were hot. Going from a Melbourne winter yeah. then into a Brisbane summer, it's, the humidity kills we're, you. We're, but we've got some footage of, uh, <laughs> of you uh, no, in one of your early games for Brisbane. Um, speaking of adjustment, here's you uh, with the record, um, just learning the names of some of your teammates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming it would have been uh, quick because you ended up playing. You ended up you were saying, 41 you know, games, but a lot more been. games than you yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah. Well, it felt like the body was okay, but. I think we are aiming for 15 a year, so to get through more was, sure. was a good result. Let's talk about your last game, um, because oh. you went out in style, uh, you played 
on Dusty. Oh, yes. One out, yep. isolated in the forward line. Um, can you t take me through that experience? Oh, I was pretty nervous. Any time you got the whole 50 or pretty much the whole half a grand to yourself with, with Dusty, um, you're a bit nervous. But then the ball come down and I, uh, and I pinned him for holding the ball. So I thought, how good is this? Hey, look at you the there. best player. He's won two Brownlows. Wrapped him up. You're off to a flyer. Piece of cake. And then two minutes later, the ball comes down. I lose the ball in the lights. The ball goes through my legs. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, and he kicks it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I re okay. realised straight after that it was no good. And then <laughs> the, the runner came out and said, you should move up the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right that, so. and can I put it to you, that's the moment you made your decision to <laughs> retire? <laughs> oh, gee, how, good right, is he, how, how good is this bloke? Oh, I think for a bloke who can just turn a game like that, I said, uh, I think that game he moved forward, kick six... Um, and change it considering we're up at half time, but he's he's one of, he's a freak. Yeah. He kicked six that day. Yep. Only had four. Well, 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 wasn't, wasn't all Australian last year, and was still for mine the best player in the league. And uh, oh, if you want to come all back to my place and watch a replay, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the grand you, final. You leave, well, you don't leave the club because you're still around, obviously. But from a playing perspective, you'll leave it in, in really good nick. I mean, they are a team with which to be reckoned going. Hey, are you going to Are you still participate in any way with the club? I know you, you've got this new job at seven. But yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, Doing some part-time assistant coaching down there, so three days a week uh, in se uh, pre-season and then two days a week in season. So. We were we were a bit interested when we saw the leadership group announced a couple of weeks ago, and there's there's nine players part of the Brisbane Lions leadership group. Now, Sam, you're a resident expert on the on the Brisbane Lions. Can from left to right, can you take us through that leadership group? <laughs> well, I tell you what, I won't be going from left to right. <laughs> uh, Dane Zorko's in the middle. Yep. Oh, the tall okay. one. I've picked off the No, not the tall one, Luke. <laughs> Who else? The one kneeling. Um, and then there's Lockie Neal, far right, second from the right. Yep. And, yep. and then over to you, Andy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do you got? Uh, um, Warry Kappa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there's, uh, and by the way, nine, should, there's nine in Nine. They should all be at least a metre and a half apart. That's all, <laughs> nine, that's all I, I mean, take away. You know them all, obviously. But do, nine, do you know them all? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you would. But nine, <laughs> nine's pretty... Nine's extraordinary, even by today's standards where we've got sort of, you know, big leadership groups. Nine's a big number. Yeah, it is compared to other groups that only yeah. have two and three. Um, but I guess they're blokes with different ages and of experience as well. So you've got a few of the older guys. Steph Martin, 30. Zorks is almost 30. Jared Lyons, 28. But then I think they've brought in a couple of younger ones. Jared Berry was in there. Yeah, Hugh yes. McCluggage was in there. Oh, we love that. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Again, all household names. Yeah. So, so, well. I think, oh, hey, hold you. Hey, Mickey, it's fine to have a leadership that big. But in current conditions, they're not all allowed to gather at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> not sure, um, well, speaking of leadership, I'm not sure if you've seen this from the Melbourne Football Club, okay. but they're going to revolutionise things this year. Have a watch. So it shows you there's a real big collective that's starting to build within the footy club. And to back that up, our leadership model is going to be really simple. We'll have a captain and a vice captain. That's it. Writing <laughs> <laughs> oh, that down. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was under our nose the whole time. Oh, no, the the yeah. brains trust of Melbourne are staying up late. Uh, having lived through all the uncertainty about round one, we're going to have to let you go in a moment, but you're part of tomorrow night. And yep. you're going to be, so Carlton Richmond tomorrow night and then the Bullies column Friday night. You're going to be part of that. And it's going to be great to have you part of the seven commentary. How, how keen are you to see this thing get underway? I'm, I'm the same as everyone else. As soon as they say it's going to be taken away yeah. from you, you'll, you'll want it even more. So... Um, yeah, we can't wait for the for the bounce to, to start next week. Great tomorrow. acquisition. Thanks for coming on the show. We've great been trying to get you for ages. It's uh, an honour to have you here. Um, um, what are we doing? Oh, well... <laughs> You, you, I know Sam's... Are we still on? Sam's, hey, hey, Sam's, <laughs> Sam's normally the one... Sorry, Andy, go on. Fif Fifteen minutes oh, is up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the sake of all our health. Sam's normally the one who keeps an eye on um, on commentary. No, that's fine, uh, that's fine. We're changing it up on, on the spot. We're like the, something that says Mick. Uh, I'm doing it. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> um, you, you're, Where are you uh, getting them from? Your commentator... You are you about to... Uh, yeah. We've mentioned you're a commentator as well. And also staying with Brisbane. Yep. Can I ask about conflict of interest? No, no. Um, what about uh, you're about to start? You on tomorrow night? <laughs> yeah, we said that. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Friday, Friday night. Kind of yeah. What's I'll, your I'll name again? <laughs> no, Luke. I'll handle this. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> you, you don't have to act like Mick Pace because it's. Hey, guys. Hey, Andy. Don't do any of this. Okay, sure. Don't do sure. any of this. Are oh, we right. sure the uh, cash cow doesn't want to throw it to its next one? <laughs> Andy, it's, it's not too late for you to get out, by the way. I wanted to say. We wish you luck in your, in your, in your new career. Absolutely. And it's your first night, though, and seeing, I don't want to put a hex on it, but I do have a bad feeling about it. 
and things can go wrong, uh, as Ricky Olerinch will learn uh, when he uh, put his toe in the water for some commentary. <laughs> Well Brian Harris, we saw, take a number of marks in that second quarter. It would force him to then become more uh, player conscious. And I think having Cooter up forward would give it a Carlton dimension up forward another string. <laughs> it actually looked like you tried to take him off then. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to run a few Halfway tests. Halfway through that throw, I wish I had the virus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody at home, yes, we will be running some Thanks, tests mate. after the show. <laughs> hey, good luck tomorrow night. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank Luke Hyde, Jess. Very good. <laughs> 2020 on the other side of this mixed multi oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The show. Oh. It's great to have you with us on the first front bar for 2020. What a joy it is to have Andy Lee part of the show. Big, what's a, a what's big... your favourite Ed Sheehan song? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and guess what? Oh. A special moment for you now yep. because you're about to witness live up close your first mixed multi. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, Pangy, during this segment, what do, what do I normally have to do if you're away? Just pretend you're not here. <laughs> oh, no, what are you going with, Mickey? No. All right. All right what are you I'm going? so excited. What are you going? Uh, oh, no. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay. First up, first leg. I was interested to hear Conor McGregor's <laughs> thoughts upon returning from Ireland. Yeah, so it was good to get home for a few weeks just to get over a bit of homesickness and just see how the few weeks go, the next few weeks go. So I have no really had time, you know, so I'll just see how I go and play a beer, really. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to wager. He's just been hit on the head <laughs> with a shovel by Hodgie. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have that. But how, you, how about you take... <laughs> Cash Cow loves it. Cash Cow loves it. You can't have it. How about you, how, well, you can't have it, but how about you take German table tennis... Schwartz had to beat Klashida. Oh, been... oh, hold on, I've just realised there's no sports event on. <laughs> 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 and I'll give you three... Can I, can I point out... I've been waiting for this clash. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll give you 340. Yeah. That's juicy odds for this okay. clash. Right. And uh, this is going to come home. Second leg. Get on it. Uh, uh, second leg. OK, here we go. Have a listen to the <laughs> advice being peddled here by the public health officer in the States who gives you, well, the ways that you, the things you should do to avoid getting the coronavirus. Today, start working on not touching your face because one main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth, nose, or eyes. <laughs> I'll have to wager yep. that finger has since been amputated. <laughs> well, you could, but I'm not going to get... <laughs> I'm going to keep this all year. <laughs> You'll have worn it out by the end of the day. <laughs> How about you take... What? Esports? <laughs> the ninjas in pyjamas to be taking spirit. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... <laughs> I'll give you a dollar forty. Trust me, that's going to come in. That is going to. If you know anything about esports, as uh, so I do. Ninjas in pyjamas. I'd like I to know. wager that this segment is in grave doubt for next week. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Right, right, third leg. Oh, it's third leg. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, of course. Yes. Yes. This is. Uh, this is the crucial premiership leg. <laughs> Third leg. There's been a run on at the supermarkets. Have a look at this footage. Uh, here comes the dog. Uh, enter the store and uh, and here it comes. And whooshka. <laughs> there it goes. I'd like to wager since then that supermarket has placed a limit. On <laughs> what am I trying to do? <laughs> but uh, as it does pay the limit on one loaf of bread per dog. <laughs> uh, there you got it. Well done. Hold on. Yes. La hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Olerinchuk. <laughs> Oh, my God. They never do that. Either. It would have been sensible policy, but you can't have it. But how about you take, in the CEV Cup, 
That's Russian volleyball. This is good. Zenit St. Petersburg to beat Locomotive Nebrozdorsk. <laughs> and I'll give you $2.66. Good money. Household names Thank in you. Poland. <laughs> that's and traditional Russia. rivals. And, that's, oh. and they're good at their job to boot this baby <laughs> home. Yes. Uh, be, be careful about streamers <laughs> in a doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to wager that is the shortest pole dance ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Oh, I, I could have been on crickets at that you point. Can, you, can't, you can't have that, but how about... I'm, I'm very bullish about this one. How about you take Andy Lee to win the gold, Logie, and I'll give you 21 bucks. You're 21 bucks. Oh, Are you juicy. aware of this? Juicy. I, that's, that's juicy odds. I, I, am, I wasn't aware of that, but I can tell you what, after being on this show, that's just... <laughs> I'm 950 to one now. Sort of wind out. You get it. Bag it up. What do we got? Right, let's have a look what it's paying. It's going to be pretty juicy, I would have thought. There you go, 276 oh. bucks. To Can get I on... say something? Yep. If you know anything about those sports, <laughs> bet your house. <laughs> that is it. If you want to get on Mixed Multi, jump on the sports. We could all be dead soon anyway, so go nuts. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Just <laughs> go. There it is. Put it out there. What do you got to lose? Look for me. Go out with a bang. Look for Mixed Multi <laughs> in the Megabed <laughs> section of the app. And please, folks, despite what he said, gamble responsibly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. When we come back, really? it'll be our last shout, I think. After this. Oh, hey, yep. here we go. Thank you. Uh, how'd you go, Andy? Did you have, have a good time Sam, tonight? Sam, yeah. by the way. Just in case you have lost him. You gone completely? I haven't gone. I'm still here. Oh, mate. I just wanted to say thank you for, for watching tonight and uh, thank you to our audience, uh, those who were allowed in the building and the cash cow is uh, <laughs> having one for the road. And uh, we, we, we've had some fun and we... we <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking at Andy going, mate, that's, yeah. Hamish and Andy must never seem further away than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, my management texted me before. It said, <laughs> Terrible decision. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Hey, no, we, thanks. Look, we thank you for watching, and it, it, it's, it's, it's a different show, it's a, it's a bit of a different world out there, yeah. but. Uh, this, you know, we've been through a lot, haven't we? We've yep. been through bushfires have yeah, nearly, exactly. nearly yeah. destroyed this country. We've been through droughts, we've been through floods. I've no doubt the character of the people in this country, we're, we're going to be fine. Um, we all band together. Yeah. There's, there's a few yeah. idiots out there. It'd be kind. But, but, remember, on, the, but yeah. on the whole, yeah. I reckon uh, people have been really well behaved yep. and yep. get it. And so good on you. We're all in it together. And... Uh, Let's, let's uh, give it a fair Eek. crack. And it's oh, good to see around... Oh, yeah, cheers and yeah. good luck to all. And it's good to see everyone around the world getting into well, it. Well, the Italians have led the way, haven't they? They, they? They've been hit as hard as anybody in the world and they've, they've had, this, you know, the, ten, world-class tenors. Now, that's interesting, yeah, that's isn't it? Now, that's isn't a guy it? on a balcony. They came out because they're all in their houses. Yep. And all around Italy, they've been singing on balconies or they've been playing instruments. It's beautiful. And they've been showing uh, their love for the country yep. and the fact that uh, they're not going to be defeated by this. Well done. It's it a beautiful. bit over the top it for them. Yep. It's a bit what? over the top for you. Top. Because when, when the Italians do it, it's one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. Sure. I agree. When Mickey does it, it's a little bit different. Oh, we're from Thailand! <laughs> What a great what a, what a moment. I, um, it's great, it's great to be... Are we done, are we? Oh, yeah. It's been a bizarre, it's been a bizarre week. It's That's great to be back. Ago. Andy, Thank you, joy. mate. Well, well, a round of applause for now. Yes. Thank Thank you. Much, you. Can you please stay 1.5 metres away from the, the cash yeah. 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 Thanks to Hodgie. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, footy's back. We'll all be watching tomorrow night. We'll see you next Cheers. week. Cheers.